Going over the trades today, disappointing day, down day. There was a pretty good downtrend. Our strategies didn't capture that. And it was a kind of a tricky downtrend. I'll explain that. Minus 48.50 on the day. A little bit ahead of the hypotheticals. Round break even on the week. And still up on the month, quarter, and year. And we will go over the market and the trades on the day. We have been anticipating a sell-off in this extreme um, up market. And so we had a gap down and then it opened and the market surged. And there was about a 50-minute sell-off. This was the strongest. This and this were the strongest sell-offs of the day. Um, this was only 50 minutes. And so it, this lasted about uh 40, let's see what time was that, about 30 minutes, and then it sold off 50 minutes, and then he spent almost about an hour and 45 minutes counter trend, and then about um, 15 or 20 minutes down, and then middle of the day right here, a lot of sideways, and then it sold off some more, sideways sold off some more, and so it was a very uh, controlled sell-off, it was kind of classical, so disappointed, um, the ticks just don't really indicate a, just indicate a sideways boring day. This represents the NYSE. And the uh, NASDAQ, the correlation between the NASDAQ and this has been extremely different this year. And so we only had a high of 595, a low of minus 755 on a strong down day. The S&P was also down 31 points. The Russell was down. I think the Dow was up. The VIX barely budged, and so it only was up 0.23, and so not really indicative of a strong sell-off. Uh, the advanced decline line was only minus 4.59 on the day, um, opened up higher, and we had Net Netflix and Amazon reported last night, and they sold off, and so the Magnificent Seven stocks sold off, and we had some we had some decent short trades. Had a lot of strategies to taking the long trade though. This opening surge, the dip buyers that just come in um, every day regardless. And let's look at the trades on the day so you can see what I'm talking about. And you can see um, EVP1s. These, these EVP1s jumped right in at the open. And it looked like a gap fill reversal day initially. And then it rolled over. This was minus 725. And then... Uh, the long only version also jumped in. This one was minus. This is minus 725. The other one was minus 1,025 on the day. And then tick pulse. This was um, disappointing because we had the trade. You know, it looks a little late in the day, but there's still a lot more selling on a day like today. And um, just stopped out at this turning point here. You know, the market continues to dip. Buyers come in and grind against you for a long time. And so it got stopped out here. This has a fairly, it's a very tight stop, minus 625. And so we got stopped out on that counter trend rally. Would have been nice to have that follow through. That would have made a big difference on the day had our stop been just a little bit bigger on this strategy. And so we have um, three, four, five, six trades today. So um, OPV and Q captures profit target plus 797.50. So that was a good trade. This was a positive short on the day. Magnificent 7 in Q, one of our new strategies, plus 975. Our new short strategies captured these short trades on the day. Our momentum reversal tried to get long. It looked the market would reverse in here, and it was stopped out, minus 1225. And then S&P strategies, tick pulse, same thing here. Um, minus 625, the tick pulse on the S&P just stopped out on this counter trend rally. You know, it just kind of... From 10.30 till 12, an hour and 45 minutes of grinding against your trade. Stops out and then it rolls over. So, you know, um, a little bit bigger stop loss than that would have worked better. Would have made a huge difference on the day. Had these tick pulses. Had more like a $1,000 stop loss instead of $600. Tick wave was a highlight plus 962.50. The uh, market has been higher and the VIX is low. So these Cobra CTs tried to capture the counter trend bounce along with SR counter trend. And these all lost on the day, and these affect us. Minus 625, minus 1225, minus 825. So, um, you know, the, the nature of the market would still have us trying to buy these uh, dips for a bounce, and um, that worked against us as well. And so, um, opening chop, the opening chop strategies were net profitable. We're plus 437.50 on S&P. 
minus 11250 on opening chop two and minus 175 on tick count trend dynamic turnaround. This wasn't an opening strategy. But this one, um, you know, the first short trade, here's another example. Got short. This market grinds like it's going to reverse here. It looks like it's going to be a reversal and go up for the day. We get long, and then it reverses again. This trade was profitable. Then the last trade of the day, the market tried to rally again. So there were um, really three times during the day when the market really tried to rally. It tried to rally on the open. It tried to rally right here. And then it tried to rally. It tried to rally here a little bit. Then it tried to rally here. Went sideways here. So you have um, brief sell-off. This is very sharp and brief, very sharp and brief, very sharp and brief, very sharp and brief. So most of the time, the market is going up or sideways even on a down day like today. So it, when you look at the chart, it still looks like an easy short trade, but it was you know, difficult technically. Um, had we had some t bigger stops on these, uh, tick pulses, we would have done better. Um, market internals, like I said, were um, tricky. And let's look at those again. We're just uh, not really indicative. We use these in some of our strategies, and these were just not indicative of a downtrend at all. And so um, those are the trades on the day. For Thursday, July the 20th, we are right, it's good to be right around break even and up on the month as we go into one of our strongest days of the week, Friday. Um, we have the Fed meeting. The NASDAQ also rebalances on Monday, and the Fed meeting is on Wednesday. Not sure what the market will do tomorrow, if it will just go sideways or if we'll get a good, some good price action out of the market, up or down. But you know, Fridays have been one of our more favorable trading days, so looking forward to tomorrow's trade on Friday, July the 21st. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems' YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.